welcome back. Happy New Year. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Today, I'm going to bring you a lot of decluttering and purging motivation. I'm going to be working in my two youngest boys' room. We had a great Christmas. I got a lot of new stuff. So, like everybody else, I'm going to be getting rid of some of the stuff they don't play with or if it's broken. And I'm going to make their room to where it's really easy to keep clean, which means I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I hope you're ready for this motivation and let me know in the comments what you did for um, New Year's. Also, I know you're all dying to know where I got my outfit. Um, it's completely thrifted. The flannel, the pajama pants. Uh, the only thing that's new are the shoes. And my husband bought me for those in Christmas of 2020. So anyway, yeah, I don't get dressed up to clean my house. Sometimes I'm just ready to get up and tackle it before the mood goes away. So if you're like that, let me know and know you're not alone. Something that my boys have a lot of, well, more than their other toys, are these bigger um, play set things. Like that's a little construction set he got for Christmas. He plays it all the time. They seriously love these big bulky toys, which is fine. So I'm not going to decrease the number of those because they actually play with those and love them and when I took one away, they asked me where it was. So I know that they're going to miss it if I get rid of it. That's my whole point. So if your kids actually play with this stuff, even if you have a lot of it, I don't think you should necessarily get rid of it, which is different than a lot of people, but you do what works for your family. So now I'm just going to go around and try to find all the trash. They opened up some of the stuff back here, so there's cardboard shoved in weird places. And I'm going to have to get under the beds. And I know you're probably wondering why I didn't move the beds, but this is such a small room. Um, you'll see in a minute that there's not really many places for me to scooch the beds out of the way to get under them. So I just used the broom to get stuff out from under. And yeah. My husband and I are actually discussing possibly getting bunk beds in the future, but for now, these two twin beds work just fine. I'm not really sure where they got these old pictures at, but I showed you one of uh, my middle son's baby pictures earlier, and that was my husband and I's wedding photo. I don't know why they're back here, but here we are. What weird things have you found in your kid's room? Let me know. I'd love to know. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jessica. I go by Jessie. And on my channel, you'll find mostly motherhood lifestyle content with cleaning and organizing. So if that's your cup of tea, then I'd love for you to subscribe and join my little YouTube family. And if you're a returning friend of mine, thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you're doing great. I don't want to see. As you can see, I like to straighten up in the rooms by categorizing things. And then once it's all in its own little section, it really doesn't feel that overwhelming. So that's a tip for you. If you're conquering a large mess, pick out things and put them in um, the different categories. And then you can go to each one of those and put them where they belong and decide what you want to get rid of. Um, I like to pick out their favorites and then I know the rest of it. I can just put it away or donate it. Okay, so this area over here, I have been putting off for a while. I've had that tote in my room and I just moved it in here to get it out of my face. I just didn't want to do it yet, you know? I wanted to get through Christmas and not deal with it. But now I have to tackle it. And so I just have to go through. It's a bunch of craft material, um, papers, old school papers. So I'm gonna go through it, trash a lot of it, and then 
put the other stuff where it goes. Um, I do homeschool, so I will be using a lot of this uh, in that. So yeah, if you've got a big pile of paper clutter to go through, go grab it, do it with me right now. Push pause, go get it, let's get this done, girl. Sometimes it gets hard for me to tell you how I feel I'm afraid to show you what's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Got a lot of demons up in my brain Got a lot of bad thoughts giving me pain I'm afraid to show you what's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Let you down You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge leaning out With us it's all or nothing If you've been here for a bit, you know I love my dust mop, so I'm just gonna take it and do a quick little sweep of the uh, wood floors in this bedroom. I just, I love the wood floors in these house, y'all. They are so beautiful, and they're really not hard to take care of at all. Now I'm going to do their closet. The bottom is kind of messy and they don't have a lot of clothes hanging up, but that's because y'all, your girl is so behind on laundry. I've got two loads going right now, two loads to put away. Whew, that's for another day. Anyway, so I'm gonna tackle this closet, gonna take everything out of the bottom and then organize it with the stuff that I decided to keep. All right, so I put all their dress up clothes in this polka dot bag, and then I'm going to put their big play sets in the bottom here. I wish I had a cute little shelf to put them on so they looked more orderly, but they all fit fine. This is gonna work for now, good. Now it's time to tackle everybody's favorite chore, laundry. And this isn't even the clothes that I was talking about. These are clothes that I found in their bedroom and some in the closet floor. So I need to sort through and see what's dirty, what's clean, and do with it what needs to be done.
across your face It is written across your face If you wanna go out, we can go out You can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side Until we find another toy storage solution, I've given both of the boys one of these uh, plastic clear totes and that's where their toys are gonna go with the foot of their bed. It makes it super easy for them to tidy up at the end of the day. And I'm not uh, buried in toys all over the house. They're all right here at the foot of the bed. Well, plus the stuff in the closet. Over the years, I have really, really struggled with getting rid of stuffed animals. I don't know why. I know everybody has that one thing or a couple things that they just have trouble decluttering and stuffed animals, that's mine. So um, I've decided in the season of motherhood, I'm done, I don't care. If the kids don't play with it, what's the point? Uh, so I'm gonna pick out their favorites and put them here in this Batman tote. And the ones that I'm having trouble letting go of, I'm gonna put in a basket and I'm going to, de to declutter those. Sorry, I got tongue tied. <laughs> anyway, that way, there's not stuffed animals everywhere all the time and the kids actually play with the toys that they have. Okay, just to clarify, I'm not attached to all these stuffed animals right here. These are just ones I like and then also the ones that they don't play with as much that I know I can put away for a while. Maybe do like a stuffed animal rotation, like a toy rotation, or I can donate them. We shall see. Okay, minus the um, bed covers that are in the dryer, I'm finished in this room and I love it. I've got the closet finished and organized. I have the two totes for their toys so they can pick it up at the end of the day and all the trash picked up. You guys, this is amazing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some motivation to tackle a spot in your house today. And let me know if you enjoyed it by giving it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Be grateful, be grace, God bless. Bye.